Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode and my content is really dedicated to helping you learn how to up level your voice, create amazing video, but also do it from a place of intention, alignment and strategy to make a profit and be able to support yourself doing what you love. That's what it's all about. Well, I can't wait to talk to you today because I am going to bring in a guest who is going to help us understand the most important points on how to stand out as an expert. The world is full of people that have brilliant messages, so you have to be really smart in figuring out how to differentiate yourself from the masses. So please welcome Electra Yao. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. This is such an exciting topic and I'm always passionate to um, help people understand their potential and to share it with the world. Awesome. Well, just a little bit about Electra so you understand the credibility that we have here. First off, she's the founder and principal attorney at Yao Law Group, which is dedicated to international and domestic artists. But most important, she is an artist. So she has been behind the scenes, just like you, doing production, doing music, doing all of those amazing things. So she's coming from a place of knowledge, which is really important. But her mission is really to serve artists and creative professionals by helping them secure their artist visas, cement their brands, and like I said, learn how to make money doing it. So we're very excited to have you here. So let's talk a little bit. What are your thoughts initially? What does somebody need to do to really start to differentiate themselves from all that cluttery video mess? I would say before you even start to execute your strategy, you really need to have a clear idea of what your brand is and what your mission is. So if you um, are an artist or a performer, if your mission is to tell stories through song, then you have to have that really clear in your mind before you start to execute that mission. Right. So once your mission is clear, you understand it, you are committed to it. The first thing that I suggest doing is to start publishing articles. Now, a lot of times people think that this is really daunting and really difficult to do, but I will assure you it's not the case. What I always recommend clients, uh, my artist clients to do is to create a medium.com account and to start writing an article. The benefit of medium.com is that there are 120 million million readers every month, which means that your article can potentially be seen by 120 million people. So if we go back to my example of a performer, if you're a performer and you're specialized, for example, in musical theater, then I want you to write an article about the top song on Broadway that has made an impact. So not only are you demonstrating to your audience that you are a top performer, but you are showcasing your knowledge of the field. And I guarantee you that will make you stand out because most performers and creative professionals and artists are really not exploring their careers and connecting with their audience on that level. So that's my I think I love the way the way you start. It's so funny because we teach a, a four week video influencer boot camp and we start where people don't think we're going to start because they think they're going to learn about how to do video and lights and their hair and makeup and stuff. But really, it absolutely 100 percent starts getting clear on your passion, your mission and making sure it's in alignment to your brand, because what I tell people is. Everybody thinks they can do a hundred different things. Like I can teach on this and I can do nutrition and I can talk on fitness and I can do this. And then it, it just has a sense of ADD almost when they start to begin their con uh, their content development. And I always tell them how many squirrels can you effectively chase and capture? One. So exactly. get clear first, like you can do a hundred later, just focus on one now. So I think that's that's brilliant um, that you start there. So tell us a little bit more about some of the publishing opportunities that exist for artists. So anybody can publish. Anybody can put their voice out there. It requires strategy. But re remember, we said if your mindset, if your mission is cemented, then it's just a matter of e execution. But the first step, it's a really easy step, is to just create your medium.com account and start to publish articles. Once you have started to publish articles, you can now start to share that on different social media platforms. But 
a really simple thing to do in addition to medium.com is go to a website called helpoutareporter.com. And on this website, you can subscribe, the free version, you can subscribe to getting leads from reporters from major media like Forbes and Inc. Magazine. And they send emails daily asking for different sorts of um, topics and articles and quotes that you can give. So right there, right off the bat, I gave you two different online websites that you can start today and publish articles about your field of endeavor, about what your expertise is. I guarantee you many people who are in your field are not thinking about their career in a holistic way. We are trying to get you to think about your career on all different fronts. I want you to be great at what you do. I want you to be great at performing, singing, dancing, acting, whatever it is you do, but I want you to go that extra mile. And by going that extra mile, you need to showcase to people that you're an expert. And one of those top ways of being an expert is to show and share case your knowledge. Yep. And it's, it's so funny. Um, you know, 10 years ago when I started down the path of thinking I needed to host some TV shows, I had no experience. I didn't, you know, who was, I was a business person, but I had never been on camera or ever created a TV show. But to your point, I just started to get myself featured in that role. And maybe it started as just a little online blog, but then I would use that online blog to leverage and get something else. And then I would use that to get something else. And before you know it, I had been published in the Huffington Post and I had been interviewed on daytime news shows. And so there's all of these amazing ways to start small, don't be intimidated, reach out and say, hey, I'm an expert in this area and I would love to come and talk on your blog or your TV show or your you know, Facebook live show uh, you know, and represent myself and then leverage the heck out of that. So speaking of social media, what are your thoughts on how people, because you know, social media is everywhere and everyone has a different kind of personality. What are your thoughts on experts moving into that area? I think social media is crucial for long-term success. I think social media is just an additional channel to communicate with your ideal client or with your audience. So I personally think that each channel is different. So Instagram is different. Facebook is different. So I strongly tell people to approach this in a strategic way. So if you're going to um, utilize Facebook, which you should be doing, you're not going to treat Facebook the same as you would treat Instagram because Facebook Facebook is about community development. So it's a lot more about words. It's a lot more about connecting. It's a lot more about demonstrating knowledge. So a great way to utilize Facebook is to really um, capitalize on that community aspect. So I always tell clients, join a ton of groups. Join a ton of groups that reflect the area that you're in and begin to start commenting. You're not going to get friend requests at first, but sooner rather than later, people will start to identify you with what your field of endeavor is. But you need to start connecting with people. You need to start delivering value to people. And when I mean commenting, I don't necessarily mean like great posts. I mean interjecting actual thought that will bring value to the original poster. So Facebook is really great because it gives you the opportunity to connect with potential clients and potential viewers and audiences from all around the world. But I want you to connect on Facebook with people with intent. I don't want you to write great post or amazing article. I want you to really interject thought in your comments so that you create an opportunity to engage with the original poster. Another way to create community is to create your own Facebook group. Creating your own Facebook group is probably next level Facebook strategy, but once you're comfortable interacting with people consistently on a daily basis, then you can start to create your group, invite people who are your target clients and your target audience, and then engage daily. Once you start to post daily in your group, every single member that you've invited to your group, you can start to connect with individually on Messenger. So Facebook is really a wonderful tool to create community. And those communities will transfer over to other social media platforms. So I could talk about this all day, but another thing that I want to just quickly interject is the importance of LinkedIn. Lots of artists and creative professionals don't understand the importance of LinkedIn, but LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to publish an article and to 
not necessarily connect with other artists, but you're connecting with publicists, you're connecting with marketing specialists, you're connecting with agents, you're connecting with managers. So that's a whole other different platform that we can explore. But I would suggest if you are afraid of social media, just do it. Fail yeah. faster is what I say. Yeah, well, and just to kind of put it into an example of how Well World TV uses some of those different platforms differently to, you know, kind of uh, add a ex specific example to your points. So, you know, Well World TV is ha works with content creators to put out information that will educate and inspire a viewer. So Facebook is a great place for us to attract a viewer, you know, somebody who might be interested in Ayurveda or acupuncture or natural solutions for migraine care, that type of information. On LinkedIn, the focus shifts to finding our experts because we need content creators who are experts or we need sponsors or we need advertisers. So the two messages are different even though they're both very social uh, platforms. So again, to your point, they all have a little bit different personality and just tweak your message to make sure it's fitting that that audience. Yeah, I, I completely agree. You need to treat them as separate beasts. But a lot of the times people will focus so much on Facebook that they'll forget the importance of LinkedIn because it is a very, sometimes it's very intimidating for people to shift over to a platform that's more um, oriented professionally. But the basis of Facebook and LinkedIn is the same to create relationships with people. It's just that the content that you're gonna put on LinkedIn is different than the content you're gonna put on Facebook. The language that that you utilize on Facebook will be different from the language that you post on LinkedIn, for example. Wow. Um, I find that um, as an attorney, the content on LinkedIn that gets the most traffic is actually the content where I am able to interject my personal experience with my work. Um, and a lot of the times people think you should just do straight sales pitches on LinkedIn, but I find that to be um, ineffective. Right. I agree. So what are your thoughts on the future of video? So obviously that's obvious where my heart and passion rests, but you know, I like to talk to other people and get their thoughts on that. So um, during the quarantine, um, I'm from New York. So during the quarantine, there was an article or study published by McCain and Company, which is a, um, a famous consulting company. And in my field, 70% of potential new clients were seeking out attorneys through video, which means that if you were an attorney during quarantine and not producing video or showcasing yourself via video, you were losing clients, you were leaving money on the table. So my field, which is a traditionally old fashioned field, afraid of technology, Technology field was um, I mean we were all doing videos all attorneys are doing videos or all attorneys who are in sync with their clients are doing videos so I think video is the absolute future if you are not doing video you are leaving money on the table if you're not doing video you are not connecting with your potential client or audience it is critical um, I think that with video we have to deconstruct it into two phases so a lot of the times people are afraid of the technology part of it they don't know what video what camera to use what cameras uh, what lighting they have that technological block and then the second aspect of it is they have that emotional block where they say things like I'm I don't like the way my voice sounds, or I don't like the way I look on video, or I'm gonna make a mistake. And I urge everyone to, to really think about how important your journey is, right? If you look at someone's first, if you look at my videos, my initial videos aren't as great as my videos now, but if you think about your mission and connecting with people and community, your viewers are going to appreciate that. They're going to like to go on that journey with you and see your development and your trajectory. Yeah. So I would say- I, I always tell hosts all the time, if you're not a little bit embarrassed of your first video attempts, you waited too long. Just get going. So don't let me- do it. Like literally, all you need is an iPhone, a little tripod, you know, <laughs> make sure you look halfway decent and, you know, get clear on your message. And literally, you're right. Just start creating video because video is the future. Just, um, I would say, just do it. For those of, who are watching, who are a little, bit, a little bit afraid of like what to talk about on video, I would say create a little outline for yourself or create a cheat sheet. What are the top two things you want people to learn when they're watching your video? Um, once you're 
identified that, you're already an expert in your field. It's not like you need a script. You know this content. You know the information. It's just a matter of overcoming those hurdles, overcoming what you feel inside, and just do it because I guarantee you, you're going to feel so much happier once you start to do video because you're going to accomplish two things. You're going to deliver valuable cl uh, content and information to your potential client, and you're going to put yourself out there further confirming your expertise because experts are not afraid to share information. Exactly. Well, and one thing I've seen is, you know, we'll, we'll onboard a brand new host into the network and maybe they've never even ever pushed the record button or they have, and it's, you know, obviously they're, they're going to look back on it one day and say, wow, you know, I can't believe I got started there. But what happens is, Literally, you just start to practice, you just start to record and your confidence goes up exponentially very, very quickly, you know, so don't hold back because the good news is you can often take that stuff down. So if you're just mortified at your first attempts at video and they're posted in social media, take them down later. You know, once you're you're more polished, you build your branding components, you know, you can always take those down, but don't let it hold you back because, you um, everybody needs needs to watch video and that's what they're really seeking yeah and video i mean you can also put it into two categories right you've got your pre-recorded videos that you can play around with the editing and then you've got your live videos and i think that a lot of people are really comfortable with the pre-recorded videos because you can edit you can mess around with it you can make some changes but i would also encourage people to push themselves out of their comfort zone and do a live video and be conscious of the fact that probably at the beginning 90 percent chance nobody's going to be watching you but it's okay. It's okay. You just want to put yourself out there and create an expectation for your clients that you are going to be there. When I started doing live videos, I had zero viewers. Now, people that I took a break from two weeks of doing live video, people are like, when are you coming back online? When are you going to do your videos? Because I created that expectation, I have that connection with people that they were seeing me every day in my office. Sometimes they saw me with makeup, sometimes without makeup, sometimes with my hair up, with my hair down. I was connecting with people and I was delivering valuable content and, I, and most importantly, I was being true to my mission. If you have your idea of your mission in mind, then everything that you do is just in support of that mission. So I would say just have your mission and have fun with it. Yep. Exactly. Well, this has been a, an amazing conversation, Electra, and I really appreciate you taking the time to educate and inspire our viewers. That is what we're all about. And obviously you have your phone number up here. So uh, she is an attorney. She can help you as an expert get to your next level. And she most importantly, she's coming from that space of knowing. Uh, here's your web, uh, I'm sorry, your email, electra at yalawgroup.com. So reach out to her directly. And are there any final words you want to leave our viewers with today? My final words to the viewers would be believe in yourself. There is so much competition out there, but you are unique. You have your voice, you have your mission, and you have the story that you want to tell the world. You are empowered. Don't be afraid by little things like video or putting yourself out there because once you start to do it, you'll see that it's quite fun and you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy connecting with people and you'll be satisfied um, in serving your mission. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to take you out of the studio room and then I've got some final words for you guys. So thank you so much and we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Jennifer. Thank you everyone for watching. You're welcome. So, hey, guys, we are definitely looking for some new hosts to join us here at Well World TV. So if you feel like you want to take Electra's advice and put that to work and really stand out and differentiate yourself, we want to hear from you. So please shoot me. You can find us. Here's our brand new website, which just launched. I have about 15 hosts, content creators that are uploading their content as we speak, but you'll be able to see what direction we're going in. And then please reach out to me directly and we'll set up a 30 minute free consultation for me to understand who you are, what message you're trying to share in the world and the best way for us to get us out, to get it out there. So until next time, take care and I will see you down the road, hopefully in video.